Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Trails to Azure. We are at the International Conference inside the Orcus Tower. Last time we had our, well, personal escort by Dieter showing us all the floors and all the rooms that the conference was taking place. And right now, if you look down the window, there they are, busy with the proceedings and we are about to start our patrol. So for now, let's just walk around everywhere, talking to everyone see if we can find some things that are not quite right. The rooms here in the West Wing are reserved for the visiting dignitaries from Remiferia, Liberal and Culvert. For the privacy, we have limited patrols on this floor to only what's necessary. That may sound flawed, but do understand that our guests are head of state. We're obligated to provide them a certain amount of confidentiality. The dignitaries are also being accompanied by their own personal escorts during any recesses, so security shouldn't be an issue. You won't be able to move freely uh, through this area during the intermission. If you'd like to inspect the rooms on this floor, I suggest you do so now. Yes, we are planning on doing just that. Right, this is the stairwell. That's the last place you want to go to. Oh, this is the room reserved for Prince uh, Albert from Marinferia. From what I understand, the Grand Prince has an extensive knowledge of music. <laughs> As it happens, I'm currently preparing Speaker McDonald's private record collection for him to enjoy. Prince uh, Albert and Speaker McDonald seem to have a very strong rapport with uh, one another. It makes sense when you think about it. Marinferia has been the primary sponsor of St. Ursula Hospital for many years. which we have seen with our own two eyes <laughs> during one of our uh, missions earlier. <laughs> ah, I'm dusting up a storm today. There's not a speck out of place uh, on this uh, potted plant. And I'm done with it. Time to double check for any spots I've missed. There's not a speck out of place on this potted plant now that I'm done with it. Yeah, that might be a little bit much, but I do appreciate the dedication uh, to the trade. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, check uh, next door. Oh, you're those uh, police officers they have on patrol, aren't you? That's us. Sorry if we're interrupting. Scree. No, oh, and your princess uh, Claudia's little friend Sieg, was it? Hmm, this must be the gear falcon Kia taught uh, me about. Scree, scree. Hmm, what's this little guy saying? Oh, could you translate uh, for us, Theo? <laughs> he said, uh, hello again, SSS, and nice to meet you, Theo. Hmm, so he remembers us, after all. Clever bird. Scree. <laughs> I always remember the faces of Princess Claudia's friends. Well, I'm honored to hear you say that, Sieg. Oh, are you all familiar with Mr. Sieg? <laughs> Isn't he just the cutest, smartest little bird you've ever seen? Oh, he's definitely one of the smarter birds uh, we've seen. That's for definitely for sure. This room looks okay as well. I don't mean to make a fuss, but are those refreshments truly suitable for the president? I, I understand your concern, but the kitchen staff did their very best with them. I'm sure they'll be fine. Besides, they're patriotic in a way, don't you think? I suppose so, but surely there were better alternatives. Is there some kind of issue with the snacks they prepared? Hmm, those sweet buns have Mishi's face on them. I would recognize them from anywhere, and <laughs> they're Mishi buns. I fail to see the problem here. Any other food that would be objectively inferior. Oh, calm down, Theo. If nothing else, they'll give the president something to remember Crossbell by. Oh, great. Now that you've brought up the issue, I can't stop worrying about it. But it's too late now. We don't have any time to prepare something else. Hmm, every one of those sweet bonds have Mishi's face stenciled on top of them. I can't help but think them rather a techie chose to serve at a formal uh, event. Well, is it a little bit tacky? Maybe. But it is a signature thing uh, 
you can expect from crossbow and that in itself makes it less tacky i think <laughs> all right let's see what the other side uh, is could be just the elevators nope more rooms and these are the elevators okay <laughs> all closed up good Oh, this spot gives you an amazing view of Crossbell. Every time I try to clean the windows, I end up getting distracted, gazing out at the city instead. <laughs> oh, la -di -da -da -di. oh, the mayor and speaker will be sharing this room during the intermission. They have their work cut out for them representing Crossbell today, so I'm going to make sure this place is pick and span as I can. Oh, you've got this, Mr. Mayor. You can do it, Speaker McDowell. <laughs> uh, full faith of confidence in the two. Very nice. Oh, I heard Prince Oliver is especially fond of red roses, <laughs> so I took the liberty of fetching some to decorate his room with. I hope he enjoys them. Oh, I'm sure he will, because even I noticed them. Hmm, this room will be set aside for Prince Oliver during today's intermission. His Highness is quite renowned among the Imperial Upper Crust for his refined taste and unique pursuits. Knowing that makes me want to put all of my energy into preparing this room to his liking. Yeah, and he can be a bit weird at times, but that's what we like about him. And of course, there he is. Lecter. Man, I got a load of that view. Ain't it something as it is? Lecter? What are you doing here? Ah, oh, come on, you guys. I'm part of His Excellency's, the Chancellor's staff. Nothing unusual about me kicking back in here. Anyway, good to see you again, uh, gang. <laughs> we really got to stop meeting like this. No, even today of all days, you look like you don't have a care in the world. Mm, what he looks like is someone with something to hide. <laughs> hey, don't be like that, little lady. Only thing I'm hiding under all this charm is additional surplus charm. So, those glares on your faces tell me you guys have a buttload of questions uh, you want to ask. Oh, that's right. We learned a thing or two in the past 24 hours. Especially about the Imperial government's actions. Or lack thereof regarding the trade conference. <laughs> Alright then. I'm not exactly sure what you've heard, so let me shoot you a question of my own. Did you know I'm working with the noble factions to take Goliath Osborne's life? What? Oh. Oh, considering the source, everyone, don't listen to a word he says. Mm, I ain't falling for this one again, pal. Hmm, for lost ones, shame on you. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> don't ruin guys' fun like that. Two out of six ain't bad, but I was hoping to string half of you along at least. Hmm, I suppose we can just chalk that one up as a crude attempt at humor then. Listen, Lector, because I need to make something clear. I don't care what your position or goal is. From where I'm standing, you're the type of person who knows how to take responsibility and get the job done. Owing to that, the most logical thing to do is to would be to cooperate with us, at least as far as security is concerned. Am I wrong? Hmm, so that's your play. Well, I was only fooling about that turncoat business just now, but you can't tell me it's totally impossible to picture, right? You've got to keep your eyes peeled at all times, stay vigilant and see the signs. That's the key to a good writing, uh, finding inspiration, you know? I don't know any aspiring authors in this room, <laughs> last time I checked. Well, I've seen broken rifles shoot straighter than this guy. Ah, oh, sorry, but that's all the advice I can give you at the moment. You should keep an open mind about how things might play out. Expect the unexpected and all that jazz. Oh, that's really helpful, thanks. Even now, I can't get a read on what he's thinking. I feel like I understand him even less than I did before. Well, he probably has an idea or two about what might happen today. So that's why he's warning us to keep an open mind and stay vigilant. 
Hey, I can see Enrica Village off in the distance. Man, just look at all those bees go, carrying honey and buzzing all over the place. And get real, there's no way you can see that far. Well, with Lecter, I don't know. <laughs> he is uh, a special kind of special, so you never know if he can actually see that far. Alright, I did plan on using all the staircases instead of... Did we talk to you? Well, the dictators have personal rooms on this floor. The first on the right is of Mayor and the Speaker. After that is Prince Oliver's. The first room to the back has been reserved for Chancellor Osborne. They're unoccupied at the present, save for the cleaning staff, so feel free to enter if you like. We did, we talked to everyone, we're ready. And like I said, I do plan to take the staircases all the time, because if an elevator gets stuck for whatever reason, we do not want to be in there. We want to be able to move around freely and help wherever it's needed. Check here as well. Today's trade conference is of great interest to those of uh, us from Mermaferia. I'm hoping it leads to further economic development back home. Well, I think both sides are uh, hoping for that. Ah, you're the special support section, correct? I heard you assisted his lordship Prince Albert yesterday. Oh, not at all. If anything, he was the one who helped us. Oh, that's right. His lordship's medical knowledge was tremendously useful. Hmm, is that so? To his credit, the Grand Prince is an excellent doctor in his own right. Details aside, I can say with confidence that his lordship was both extremely pleased and impressed with all of you. I'm glad to have the opportunity to meet uh, the men and women who he spoke of so highly. Hmm, our pleasure, my man. Oh, we appreciate your kind words. Ah, yes, I understand we have a potential terrorist situation on our hands today. That's always the case when it comes to international conferences. However, this time seemed especially precarious. The last thing anyone wants is for the dictators to be exposed to danger. To prevent that, we'll have to do everything we can to keep this place secure. Uh, we'll be doing that exactly. We obviously can't enter in the middle of the conference. Let's leave before we bother anyone. True. But, uh, you know me, I just had to try. Ah, you must be the special support section they uh, have on patrol duty. Thank you very much for your service. Let us know if there's anything we can do to make your job easier. Oh, don't worry, if you uh, make sure to get in there if something weird happens, we'll make sure everything else is okay. The conference appears to be going well. Better than a typical Republican Parliament session anyway. The president has to be relieved he's not dealing with the opposing party today. Well, look who it is. It's been some time, SSS. How are your patrols uh, going? Kilika. <laughs> but where are my manners? The last time we met, it was under different circumstances. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Kilika Ruran aid to the President of the Kelver Republic at your service. I have other responsibilities and titles, of course, but they're nothing worth mentioning. Well, I suppose not. Would that include being an entertainment producer, like you mentioned before? No, it would. Quite legitimately, in fact. It's just one of the many hats I've done. <laughs> there is, for a matter of a production company back in the Republic as well. Hmm, I see. In other words, there are no holes to poke in your story. She's a woman with a mouth for every situation, and like any self-respecting spy, she knows how to use them. Hey, I like my little mystique, what I wouldn't give to her role play with her for just one night. Oh, that's just one common best kept to yourself, Randy. Hmm, care to share your conversation with the class you three? <laughs> no, that reminds me. A little birdie told me that a little birdie invited you aboard the RC yesterday. I, I beg your pardon? Hmm, I should have expected you would already know. Jeez, how do your sources even get this stuff? <laughs> Settle down, it isn't anything to fret over. I'm curious though, did you hear anything of note? 
Well, it was only some uh, friendly advice, nothing more. There's still plenty we have to figure out for ourselves. Oh, is that right? <laughs> well, the same could be said for myself. What? Oh, I was merely thinking aloud. I can envision as many scenarios as I'd like, but it doesn't mean any of them will come to pass. With so many conflicting motives, there's still much we don't know. That is true of everyone working here today. Will today be the day the first domino falls? Or is that just a juncture yet to come? Who can really say at this point in time? I think I understand uh, what you're getting at, but still. Hmm, either way, she's right on the mirror. Oh, the only thing I'll add is that my role today is nothing more than that of a presidential guardian and keeper. In that sense, <laughs> you could almost consider us as colleagues. What say we put aside our allegiances and simply watch how today unfolds? <laughs> Beyond that, I have no further comments to make for the moment. Fair enough. Thanks for the information. Yeah, very open and very true. We just have to work together to make this day a success. Oh, I'm sure you have much you'd like to discuss, but for now, <laughs> let's watch and see how things proceed. Given that we're both tasked with security today, our duties aren't all that different from each other. True. Very, very true. The conference is finally underway. If terrorists really do attack, we can only guess what they'll be after. Regardless, we all have our assignments from the security room, and you can be sure we're going to do them. If terrorists really do attack, we can only guess what they'll be after. Regardless, we all have our assignments from the security room, and you can be sure we're going to do them. The conference is currently in session. If you'd like to observe, you can do so from the gallery on the next floor. The first half of the conference is scheduled to conclude at 3 p.m. Of course, that could uh, change slightly depending on how things go inside. True. If there are some really hefty discussions, it might be a little bit later. <laughs> right, elevator once more. No hidden people there. Ooh, I see so many familiar faces and one in particular I would like to talk to. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, if it isn't the special support section, I take it you've been securing the conference floor for everyone? That's right. We managed to act out an assignment as part of the security. Hmm, so this is the room where they stashed all the big guns, is it? Metaphorically speaking, of course. Well, I bet every last person in here is a ranking officer. Correct. By all accounts, this room alone could prevent a major incident. <laughs> no, absolutely. Not to mention Senior Captain Swartz's swordsmanship. I heard it's as fearsome as it is elegant. Oh, you are far too kind. It is nothing so extraordinary. That being said, no matter what happens, no one will lay as much as a finger on Her Highness, I swear it. Trust us to protect the conference room and we'll trust you to keep watch over the other floors. Of course, thank you. As members of the Royal Guard, it's our sworn duty to protect Princess uh, Claudia by any means necessary. Rest assured that the security here is in good hands. Best of luck with the rest of your patrols. Thank you. And yours with protecting everyone here. Oh, trust us to protect the conference room and we'll trust you to keep watch over the other floors. May ideas protect you all. And you as well. Ah, oh, it's good to see you again, Major Vander. Oh, have you noticed anything out of the ordinary yet? Ah, hello there, SSS. It is hardly enough reason to let our guards down, but things have been calm thus far. Even the discourse of the conference itself has been civil. I am admittedly impressed by how smoothly things are going. If the conference continues to go well, that will at least alleviate some of the stress on the prince's uh, shoulders. Oh, is everything okay, Major Vander? Hmm, you seem to have a lot on your mind. Well, I suppose you could say that. In a sense, we've only come this far because of the seeds he chose to sow. But never mind that. What matters most right now is our duties at the conference. I have a role to play as the prince's escort. Just as sure as all of you have your own keeping the conference secure. Right, that much is certain. I'm here to serve as the prince's escort. As such, I will observe the conference until its conclusion the way any military officer in my shoes would. You all have your own duties to fulfill. Don't let me keep uh, you from them. 
hey, talking to you all is part of our job. Because getting all the information we can, getting a sense of how everything is going, will make our job a lot easier. Ah, you must be the special support section. Thank you for your service today. As you can see, there's nothing out of the ordinary to report here. If you have uh, no particular business, I would ask that you not loiter in this room any longer than needed. Uh, <laughs> sure thing. Hmm, right up blunt, isn't he? Like a pistol whip to the face. Any loud noises you make in this room will carry over next door and disrupt the conference. As such, I would ask you to remain as quiet as possible while you're here. That is the idea. <sighs> I've been nervous wreck all day, but I can't let this opportunity go to waste, especially over all Prince Oliver has done for the Academy. Most importantly, I mean as a representative of Thor's. I've got to pull myself together and chip in. <laughs> What's a girl in school uniform doing here? I didn't hear that a student was going to be accompanying the Imperial government to the conference. <laughs> Supposedly, they're hoping to gain some real world experience. Being one of the best and the brightest of their academy, <laughs> this must be her. Damn, and here I was thinking someone just couldn't find a babysitter. Mm, somehow I feel he and I would uh, have a lot to talk about. Well, she has to have skipped a grade or two, right? <laughs> well, you never know. The girl just might be around the same age as you and Lloyd. Well, she seems like she got a good head on her shoulders, so I guess she could be older than she looks. <laughs> it would be nice uh, to get to know her, but we are a bit pressed for time today. And I'm guessing she's in here in this version and not the older ones, as we've seen in previous scenes. <laughs> Let's see, I still have to put together the conference minutes and review the draft we're sending to the Imperial Times. Oh, oh and I need to respond to Radio Trista's media request too. So much to do, so much to organize. I'm sure you can do it. Alright, that's it for this floor as well. Pretty nice. Alright, let's uh, get down one more floor. And I'm pretty sure that's where all the action is happening. The shutter to the emergency stairwell is sealed tight. This is the way to the 33rd floor. We were told it would be sealed during the conference, if uh, you recall. I believe this shutter locking mechanism is controlled via the orbital network. Remember what the mayor said, though. There's no such thing as a foolproof security system. We better keep that in mind, just in case. True. Alright. Let's go by a room here as well. I saw Vice Commissioner Pierre muttering to himself earlier, I hope he's alright. I'm a little worried about him, to be honest. Ah, uh, well, I can uh, imagine that. Ooh, what do we have? S standard uh, stuff? Good. Phew, oh, this is uh, where they put the lunch boxes. Finally, I can grab a bite to eat. Anything else here? No secret books or anything? Hmm, listen up. There's a press conference scheduled during the intermission. Make sure everything is in order on the double. Understood, we'll get right on it. Mm, I can't believe that woman would. No, I'm sure of it this time. Who is he mumbling about? Excuse us, Vice President Commissioner Pierre. What? The special support section. Oh, joy. Well, can I help you? Mm, if I may ask, Vice Commissioner, what are you doing here? Dio, you can't just... Mm, nothing. Nothing except my job as director of the security command room. Hmm? Since when? Hmm, come to think of it, I do recall seeing your name sprinkled around in some of our materials. Ah, I see. I never read those, hence my confusion. You what? Ah, uh, here we go. We probably should have mentioned this to all of you sooner. Whoops. Hmm, one question. If you're the head of security, then why are you here instead of the command room? 
taking in a little break? Please, Dudley has full authority while we're on site. With my permission, of course. So you see, there's no reason for me to be in the command room. Too many leaders spoil the group, as it were. Think of it however you like. As your superior, I know what is best for the operation. Now then, you six just focus on getting in Dudley's way. Yes, sir. And of course I meant not get in Dudley's way. But I'm pretty sure we will at some point. Uh, by the way, Vice Commissioner, could I ask what women you were referring to just now? I'm curious too. Is someone we should be worried about? Hmm, why would my wife be... I, I mean, mind your own business, I've got nothing to do with you. Now get back to work, go on. Uh, yes, sir, understood. All of that was about this old lady? Perhaps that at least she has uh, him on is beginning to shave. <laughs> Whatever the case, I think he's appreciate us keeping quiet about this. Yeah, and we got some little blackmail material too if he ever messes with us. <laughs> Not that I would ever do that, I'm just keeping it in mind just in case. Okay, so here's where all the press uh, would be. This rating room is for members of the press from each participating country. General policy forbids them from exiting while the conference is in session. They should all be accounted for in there. Feel free to enter if there's anything you need to confirm. Oh yeah, we need to confirm if Grace is there, definitely. The shutter to the elevator is sealed tight. Oh right, only the leftmost uh, elevator is usable during the trade conference. As a security precaution, yes. The doors are likely controlled via the orbital network. The way the shutters to the emergency stairway as well. Yeah, looks that way. No big deal though. You can just use the leftmost elevator instead. Yeah, I'm sure that would be more than fine. Alright, which room first? <laughs> I check everywhere. Oh, Captain Grant, <laughs> pleasure to meet you. Hey, Grant, working hard? Good day, Sergeant Major Seeker. As uh, you as well, Sergeant Orlando. Though I suppose neither one of you is technically part of CGF at the moment. Oh, <laughs> that's true. But my leave is only temporary. You can address me by whatever you find easiest. Hmm, <laughs> I don't really care either way. Are you two the only representative from the CGF on this floor? Oh, that we are. It's out of consideration for the dignitaries and members of the press, you might say. Part of the CGF orders for this assignment is to stay out of their sight and minimize exposure, hence the bare bones of deployment. Hmm. It sounds like the reasoning goes deeper than that. Oh, it does. Essentially, the decision is a way of tiptoeing around the two major powers. And while the Guardian Force weaponry is restricted by state law, it still functions the same as any other uh, state military. We stay within budget, but a great deal of our funding goes towards maintaining and improving the arms we are allowed to have. Those expenditures would be an easy point of contention if they were out in the open during the conference. Hmm, out of sight, out of mind, in other words. Hmm, diplomacy can be one fickle mistress. All true, but I try not to think about it too much. In the end, the both of us are only up to here for appearance sake. Still, there's an entire company of guardsmen one story below ready to mobilize at a moment's notice. Should something happen, they'll be on this floor within seconds, rest assured. Good to know. Oh, we'll be counting on you if it comes to that. Not that I'm complaining, but <laughs> this room is a bit over the top for just two people. I guess it goes to show, when it comes to extravagance, Orcus Tower truly is in a league of its own. Oh, it's up to us to keep everyone safe today, Sergeant Major Seeker. Let's put our packs into it. You can entrust the security of this floor to me and Captain Grant. Roger that. Yeah, this Giselle definitely has everything in control. Okay, this is the room for the security detail. Hmm... I think, I think it shouldn't matter. We should definitely be talking to everyone, so I'm sure that whatever happens, happens after we've talked to the last person. The last important person, of course. 
be a Dudley or Grace in the next room. All of us in the security division are contributing to keeping Orcus Towers safe during the trade conference. Our members are practical combat specialists who train constantly for emergency situations. Should the worst come to pass, I can assure you that we're just as capable as the Crossbell Guardian Force. Well, let's hope uh, it will not be necessary. We're accustomed to protecting government property and dignitaries alike. Whether it's the anniversary festival for the international conference, ending large scale events is all just part of the job. Watching the building through this monitor, you can tell everybody on the security detail is on extra high alert. Things would be a lot simpler if our fears about these terrorists turned out to be unfounded, wouldn't they? It would, but... Like I said, I'm pretty sure something would happen. We've seen it from another perspective. Well, the infrastructure we've set up here allows us to consolidate and parse every bit of security data that flows in, just like that. Plus, while the terminal here are limited, they're still able to access the database at CPD headquarters. Should the need arise, we'll have detailed info on all and any suspicious characters available at our fingertips. Very good. We still haven't caught wind of any terrorist activity, but it's too optimistic to uh, hope that uh, they called off their plans in the face of our flawless security. <laughs> Would that be uh, we be so lucky? Ah, there you are. Have you noticed anything amiss? No, not yet. Oh, that monitor over there gives you the security overview of the entire tower at once, right? Correct. We have access to every critical area in, of the building in real time. That includes the conference room, of course. Thankfully, this tower is equipped with the most advanced security system on the continent. Hmm, numerous locations are beginning to incorporate via surveillance, as I recall, from the IPC to orbital stores. I've never seen such a large quantity of them in one place, however. How many there are is only half of it. The fact that this technology even exists is amazing on its own. Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised to see them used to survey areas outside the city someday. The CTF days might be numbered though. Hmm, I don't think it will ever be that simple. How widespread they become is going to depend on the public's approval. Digressions aside, there's a more than welcome convenience for this assignment. Without any leads on terrorist plans, all we can do is nip things in the bud for the moment. They strike, whether right before or just after. That's why we have to keep our eyes sharp. We can't afford to overlook even the tiniest of details. If you come across anything suspicious, be sure to report it at once. Understood. We've been keeping in contact with our surrounding post. Nothing out of the ordinary has been reported as of yet. You six should continue patrolling your assigned floors. I'll leave it to you. Yes, we shall. Yes, about Noel's comment about all the cameras all across the city and the approval of the citizens. Yes, from a security perspective, I can understand wanting to have cameras everywhere so you can have an eye on everything that if something happens, you can react to it in real time as quickly as possible. But there's also a thing like privacy. Having cameras everywhere means that no one will have any privacy at all at any time and that would just be too much i think that's what noel is uh, commenting uh, to that even if we want those extra security measures by placing cameras everywhere citizens need to feel well secure themselves in their right to their own private things so yeah very hard subject all right let's go to the reporter's room I'm Thompson from the Arden Press. A pleasure to meet you. You're a photographer with uh, the Tyrell Times, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's right, but I'm still only a rookie. You said Arden Press, right? That mean you're from Ramiferia? We may be from different countries, but we're not competitors today. I'm looking forward to working with you. <laughs> ah, likewise. Just hoping we all get the story we're looking for. I must admit, Orcus Tower is an absolutely remarkable building. Ramiferia is, of course, too far away to spot it, but I believe we can pick it out quite clearly over from uh, Altair. 
<laughs> That's right. On clear days you can see it standing tall in the distance. As a matter of fact, it's actually given Altair's tourism industry a slight boost. Almost if it's a second-hand landmark. <laughs> Already, August Tower is impacting the economies of multiple countries at once. Yeah, can you imagine that? That just being in a certain place in a country and then miles, miles and miles away you can see the tower from there. Nothing else of the city, just that one tower sticking out at the horizon. A definite sight to behold. Oh, I haven't heard too many positive remarks about the crossbow police in the past. However, seeing how tight the building security is, I'm getting the exact opposite impression today. The only conclusion I can come up with is the CPD shortcomings are a result of their structure, not their people. Yeah, this is actually not a bad thing to say about uh, the police. She's actually saying that the police officers itself, they're good people, they know what they're doing and they're doing their best. It's the people above them that's making it hard. And that's good. Well, this trade conference truly is extraordinary. I've never covered anything like this before. Conference between any two of these countries aren't uncommon, but between Crossbow and its four neighboring nations? <laughs> that's unheard for. Not to mention, uh, both Chancellor Osborne and President Rocksmith are attending in person, rather than sending uh, surrogates. Well, this is essentially the first time these two men have ever met face to face. Talk about history in the making. It's unprecedented to say the least. Reporters from every participating nation have gathered for the sake of covering this day. You and your Imperial Chronicle colleagues included. <laughs> ah, the same could be said about President uh, Rocksmith. Seeing is believing when it comes to understanding what kind of leaders they are. In the President's case, he gave a much more imposing, dignified impression than when I see him in pictures in the Tyrol Times. I must say though, Chancellor Osborne is even more intimidating in person. It truly puts his uh, particular brand of leadership into perspective. A simple photo could never hope to capture that. True, he definitely is something special. Ah, good to see you SSS. Oh hey, if it ain't Lloyd and company. Feels like we've been waiting forever for this trade conference to kick off, doesn't it? It's the main event of all main events, <laughs> Crossbow's leadership and representative from four neighbor countries in the bonanza of international discourse. And uh, of course, a big to do like this demands a primetime venue, Orcus Tower, the continent's first true skyscraper. Can you feel it? The nerves in the air? Ah, I'm so tense that my heart's about to jump out of my chest. Well, I definitely see the tension, but honestly, you don't look the least bit nervous to me. Hmm, I suspect the nerves are coming less from her and more from her future prospective uh, victim slash interviewees. <gasps> Theo, you're back! And you brought your trademark snark along with you too. I'll admit, I'm not so much anxious and I'm giddy, but enough about that. There's someone I want to introduce to you. Meet Notisha. Notisha, this is the special support section. Oh, nice to meet you. I've seen you all in the papers before. You look like an even finer team in person. I'm Natisha, a reporter from the Liberal News. Thanks for keeping us, uh, all of us safe for the day. Happy to be of service. Oh, I've heard of the Liberal News Service. It's the largest publication in the kingdom. That's right. They've also been uh, getting a lot of attention in the journalism world for another reason. Two of their own reporters were awarded the Fulicher Prize last year. Hmm, the Fulicher. Isn't that the prize that Nielsen person won a few years back? This has given the continent's most outstanding journalist every year, if I remember right. Hmm, that's the one. Anyway, the later recipients are a duo by the names of Niall Burns and Dorothy Hyatt. Niall's ace reporting and Dorothy's a brilliant camerawoman. Oh yeah, Dorothy, nothing but praise from her. Brilliant character. Ah, so the kingdom took home the crown last year, huh? Two guesses to what the prize-winning story was. Oh, could it have been about the strange phenomenon that happened in Liberal around that time? <laughs> right again. 
though technically everything they covered leading up to the incident factored into the decision too. Hmm, I see. They sound very impressive. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. But it doesn't mean we'll just lie down and let them outshine us. It's every reporter's dream to win a Fulager Prize at least once in their career. And if you want to win the next one, then you better get the best scoop you can each and every day. Especially this one. You got that, Reigns? You can't let any of these newshounds get the jump on us. Y yes, ma'am. <laughs> if Reigns get any more fired up, the orbital sprinkler system might go off. Oh, let's hope she can behave herself at least. So, I take it Nile and Dorothy couldn't make it? Oh, that's right. They were on assignment in Calvert, so they wouldn't have gotten here in time. They're a little uh, touch and go over there right now. <laughs> we are, but it's got something to do with those radical nationalists they've got running around, right? Word is, the Republican government is concerned about them making a move during the trade conference. <laughs> well, look at you. I guess that press pass of yours isn't just for show, is it? I've heard the same, though. There's no evidence of their involvement yet. So Grace manages to dig that info up too, huh? No sense worrying about how. We've got our own job to take care of. Oh, Dorothy hired the liberal news service photojournalist extraordinaire. Her photos are most both remarkably vivid and captivating upon belief. As a photographer myself, I love the opportunity to speak with her someday. Oh yeah. Let's just say her technique technique is very special. It's a thing to behold, definitely. Alright, this means our patrols are done, we've done every room, we've talked to everyone, and I'm pretty sure as soon as we step out of this room, we'll get our first notification, as that maybe they are going to start with their intermission, or we get the first wrinkle in the conference. But We'll see about that on the next episode. So for now, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe. And of course, be back next time as we continue our patrols until something happens. And what that something might be, <laughs> we'll see soon enough, I'm sure. Until then, bye-bye.